If I'm Ratna Bhushan, trained motivator and guide to IAS aspirant, international motivational speaker, leadership trainer, CEO, coach, political strategist, and policy advisor. Always make those above you feel comfortably superior. In your desire to please or impress them, don't go too far in displaying your talents or you might accomplish the opposite. Inspire fear and insecurity. Make your master appear more brilliant than they are and you will attain the heights of the power. This fact I have taken from 48 Laws of Power, written by Robert Green. The most important news of today's are, source, the Hindu newspaper. RBI target compliance at banks with CCO norms. The Reserve Bank of India on Friday laid down guidelines for appointment of chief accomplice, accom, compliance official in banks to ensure a uniform approach with regard to the compliance and risk management culture across the banking industry. CCO should be appointed for a minimum fixed period of three years in the rank of the general manager and not below two levels of the rank of CEO or the RBI said in circular. CCO full form Chief Compliance Officer, Chief Compliance Officer, Chief Compliance Officer, Chief Compliance Officer. Next new North Korea is so sought to kill orders to prevent virus US. It has created a new buffer zone on the Chinese border. North Korean authorities have issued sought to kill order to prevent the novel coronavirus entering the country from China, according to the commander of U.S. forces in South. The impoverished North, whose crumbling health system would struggle to cope with the major virus outbreak, has not confirmed a single case of the disease that has swept the world, the world since, since, since uh, the world has since first emerging in the China, the North Key. North Ski Ally. Pyongyang closed its border with China in January to try to prevent contamination and in July state media said it raised the state of emergency to the maximum level. U.S. Forces Korea, USFK, U.S. Forces Korea Commander Robert Abrams said that the border shutdown had increased demand for smuggled goods prompting uh, authorities to intervene the North introduce a new buffer zone one or two kilometers on the Chinese border. General Abrams told a conference or Organized by the Center for Strategic and International Studies in Washington on Thursday. They have got North Korean SF, SOF Special Operation Force, SOF Special Operation Force out there, strike forces. They have got suit to kill orders in place. The next most important news is something something smothering the housing heights of the urban poor. Housing heights of the smothering pures. Smothering, smothering the housing rights of the urban poor, a court order on Delhi's slim dwellings threatens to undo the promise of the right to housing afford earlier verdicts. In a shorter order, with the devastating consequences, the Supreme Court of India on August 31st ordered the removal of about 48,000 slum dwellings situated along the rail tracks in Delhi, a three-judge bench headed by Justice Arun Misra in one of its last orders before this, his retirement directed state authority to remove the Jugi Jopri cluster in the railway safety zone within period of three months. Most shocking, the order stated that no court shall grant any stay with the respect to removal of the encouragements, and in case of any such interventions, order God that shall not be effective. Relying on an affidavit filed by the railway, the court observed that there is a predominant presence of the slums in close vicinity of 140 km long way in the Delhi. It noted that the, while the National Green Tribunal had constituted a special task force for the removal of the encouragement from railway property, there seems to be some political intervention against removal of such encouragement. The court ordered that these encouragements should be removed within three months and no interference political or otherwise should be there. A flawed order, a flawed order. The Supreme Court order which seeks to summarily demolish informal settlement of the poor urban residents in the deeply disturbing and raises serious legal questions. The order is fundamentally flawed because the court has ignored principles of natural justice, judicial procedures and the right to shelter and the state policy government evictions. The next important news is 
Next important news is India China agree on five point action plan. India China agree on five point action plan. Jas Jaisankar and Wangi for country continuation of talks to East Tension quick disengagement of the troops at LAC. After a two and a half hour meeting tree that went into the night in Moscow external affairs minister as Jay Sankar and his Chinese counterpart Wang Yi said they agreed in a five point courses of action to disengage of the reduced tension along the line of actual control where Indian and Chinese troops have been engaged in a four and a half month long standoff. The two foreign ministers agreed that the current situation in other areas is not the interest of the either side. They agreed, therefore, that the border troops of the both sides should continue their dialogue quickly, disengage, maintain proper distance and ease tensions, said a joint press statement issued after a first face-to-face -face meeting between the two ministers since the standoff began. The five-point plan is following the consensus between Prime Minister Narendra Modi and President Xi Jinping to not to allow differences to become disputes. Disengaging equally to ease tension, abiding by the existing India-China border protocols, avoiding escalation section, continuing the dialogue between the Special Representative National Security Advisor Ajit Doval and Mr. Wang, as well as the other the mechanism and the working towards new confidence building measures. Both sides also issued s separate notes detailing their position, indicating that the several differences still remain in their agreement of the situation at LSE, which has been violent classes, deaths of the war soldiers and the gunfire exchanges for the first time in 45, 45 years. The immediate task is to ensure comprehensive disengagement of the troops in all the friction areas, all the friction areas, all the friction areas, all the friction area that is necessary to prevent any any untoward incident in the future, the final disposition of the troop deployment to their permanent post and the phasing of that process is to be worked out by uh, military commanders, government sources said. However, neither the joint statement nor the respective notes is issued, specifically spoke of a return to the status quo ante or position prior to the stand of neutral, not do they specifically call on the China to retreat from the position at aggressed in the Pyongyang South, the Spong and other parts of the LSC. LSC. India and China. India and China held another round of the brigadier talks at the Chushul, Chushul on Friday. A Defense Minister Rajna Singh met Chief of Defense Staff Bipin Rawat and three services chiefs at Discuss the situation along the LSE. Today's interactions is a continuation of a series of interactions at the lower level to keep the channels of the communication open and also to keep tension under control, a defense source has said. A game of chess in Himalaya, a game of chess in Himalaya, a game of chess in Himalaya. In the strand of the China, India has two choices walk into the trap that has been led or learned from the 1962 event. This is the editorial of the Hindu newspaper. With the tension along with the line of actual control refusing to die down despite the marathon military and diplomatic level talks, the obvious question that stares at every stockholder this in 2020 another 1962. While the future is uncertain, the present is undoubtedly tense. That is stated by India's external affairs minister S. Jasankar, that is surely the most serious situation along the India China border after 1962. The parallels are hard to ignore. In August 1959, in August 1959, after the first border clash between India and China troops in Longju, 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 in the eastern sector, China had said Indian troops. It crossed the McMahon line and opened fire, and China border guard said fired back. The next day, New Delhi protested against the Chinese statement, saying it was Chinese troops that has moved into Indian territory and opened fire. 61 years later, 61 years later, the statement issued by India and China after the border clashes are eerily similar. Both sides accuse each other the transgression, transgression, transgression across the LSE. Both sides accuse each other of opening fire. Both sides blame each other for the current standoff. And uh, the next thing which I have taken from M. Lachmikant book, and I would like to share something beautifully, the important facts 
which is very very important for all of you and it's important that you have to understand you have to listen again and again again and again new directive principles new directive principles the 42nd amendment act of 1976 added four new directive principles to the original list the required the state number one to secure opportunity for the healthy development of children article 39 to promote equal justice and to provide free legal aid to the poor article 39a to take a step to secure participation of workers in the management of industry article 43a fourth to protect and improve them environment and the safeguard forest and wildlife article 48a the 44th amendment act 1978 added one more directive principle which requires the state to minimize inequalities in income status facilities opportunity article 38 that is sixth amendment act of 2002 86th amendment act of 2002 changed the subject matter of article 45 and made elementary education a fundamental right under article 21a the amended directive requires the state to provide early childhood care and education of all children until they complete the age of six years. The 97th Amendment Act 2011 added a new directive principle relating to cooperative societies. It required the state to promote voluntary formation, autonomous functioning, democratic control, and professional management of cooperative societies. Article 43B. Article 43B. And I would like to share the preamble. And I feel that each and every Indian have to know the preamble of our constitution. We, the people of India, having solemnly resolved to constitute India into a sovereign, socialist, secular, democratic, republic, and to secure to all citizens justice, social, economic, and political liberty of thought, expression, belief, faith, and worship, equality of status and of opportunity, and to promote among them all fraternity, assuring the dignity of individual and the unity and integrity of the nation in our constituent assembly this 26th day of November 1949, do hereby adopt, enact, and give to ourselves this constitution. I would like to request to Honorable Prime Minister, Supreme Court, and President of India, that preamble must be displayed on each and every public places. Thank you so much. Wish you all the best. God bless you. God bless Bharat.